joined by Gav, of course, from Overdrive TV, talking all about cars as we do on a Friday. And yeah. I, 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 I've always wondered, what was Gav's first well, car? Well, it's funny you should mention that because we, I know we've got a youth theme this week, and um, I actually sold a piece of my youth last week. My first car, I sold it last week. I bought it when I was 21 years old. It was Are my beloved serious? Toyota Conquest 160i RS, also Yo. known as the Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah, I was, um, I bought it and I just, you know, I think when you buy that first car, that freedom that it gives you, I think you spend the rest of your life trying to get back to that feeling with cars. And that's, that. And that's why I love cars so much because they're just essentially hunks of metal and parts, but they can make us feel things. I was an absolutely emotional mess when I sold it. So, oh, I, I know. So I'm not was, looking forward to that. How, how did you, how long did you save up for yours? Like, did, um, well, I just actually paid it off. So I paid it off over years. I've owned it for quite a long time. But I, yeah, I, I mean, I, my parents bought me a car that I crashed in within eight weeks and yeah. then they Said, well, that's that ride over, buy your own. So then <laughs> I bought the Toyota and now All I've sold it eventually. So I'm, I'm, I was very sad, but it's going to a good home. I sold it to someone in my building, so I'll get to see it oh, now and again. <laughs> All right. You're so emotionally connected. <laughs> was, I'm, I'm, I'm battling here a bit, yeah. All right, but then, all right. Of course, right now you are riding in much flyer wheels, dude, I these am days. at the moment, but I've been asked as well to speak about what my what my most loved car from my youth was. When I, yes. I, I grew up now, my mom will testify and my dad, I just had mounds and mounds of car books that I would just spend hours reading. I devised racing games that I that used statistics. And everyone knows that, you know, to choose a favorite car is almost mm -hmm. impossible. But sure. I would, I mean, uh, while everyone else loved Contashes and, Fer and Ferrari Testarosas and 911s, yes, yes, I've yes. always loved big, sleek coupes. Uh -huh. And my favorite is the Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC, which I just absolutely, Yo. absolutely adore. Now, that is still, I mean, I just find that completely captivating to Dude, this day. Yeah. Over 25 years on, I think that is just an, an astonishingly beautiful it's car. It smacks of class. Yeah. And I remember many, a friend of mine's, a friend of mine's uh, dad had one, and I remember going in it, and it's got this arm that handed you the seatbelt, which in, which in 1989 was pretty much from the future. And then it also it was one of the first cars you can't see from these shots, unfortunately. Yeah. But it had windscreen wipers on the headlights, which. Growing up in Benoni, I just thought it was the height of sophistication. Like, <laughs> what if you get mud on the headlights and you can't see where you're going on a country road? Oh, no problem. Man. Yeah, and I mean, uh, to, to put it in terms, I mean, this car isn't about stats, but it was a 5.6 litre V8 um, uh -huh. way back then, and it uh, went 250 k's now. It was one of the first cars to be limited to 250. Wow. Um, only produced 200 kilowatts, but yeah, I just think it embodies everything a Mercedes Benz should be. Uh, Kudos, I still think, man. It's, still think it's absolutely gorgeous. I, You've I got amazing taste. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. you can ride out with that in this right now you and still have major swag. Yeah, and absolutely. That's got a huge amount of swag, yeah. <laughs> I agree with you. It's completely. got a huge amount of swag. <laughs> huge amount of swag, I know, exactly. Um, but a lot of swag is going to be going on this weekend, of yes, course. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I know you, you gave the preview early on, Kodeco, yeah. about the, the Silverstone Grand Prix this yes. weekend. And as you know, Chiro and I are <laughs> massive motorsport fans mm -hmm. um, and the big thing this weekend is there's going to be four Brits on the grid and Silverstone always attracts a massive massive crowd uh, the circuit used to be a lot faster but obviously with health and safety and that they've slowed it down a bit but uh, there are going to be four Brits there's going to be Lewis Hamilton obviously racing for Mercedes Jensen Button at McLaren then we've got uh, <coughs> Paul DeResta at Force India and Max Chilton at Mauritius so yeah. yeah the Brits have a lot to cheer about um, and there's one last thing I wanted to chat about. Yeah. Um, um, as people might know that I'm involved in advertising and there's a campaign we developed. Yep. And it being the weekend <laughs> and it being youth themed, we've got a, we, there's a website called drivedry.co.za. You should all go check it out. It basically accesses your Facebook events. If you and I are going to the same event, you can see who's drinking or who's driving to that event. And also when you declare, you can get incredible rewards immediately. So that is that's a well worth, well worth while checking out <coughs> drivedry.co.za. Thank you very much, sir. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Always love Absolutely. having you around, man. Have a good weekend. Hey? You Enjoy too. it. Have Until a wonderful time. Until we say, how's it? I will. I will. <laughs> of course, you can follow yeah. these guys on Twitter at Overdrive TV. Check them out also at overdrivetv.co.za. We're going to take a very quick ad break. We'll be right back with Umtlobo and Eat Breakfast. Aeon Dio Eggs and Love like we express it. With a range of quality products guaranteed nationally, you'll always find there's so much more to Midas.